Welcome to self-love and meditation. Hello, hello. Welcome here. Welcome to the pause in your day. I always have lipstick on my finger. <sighs> what a time to be alive. I'm just going to take this moment to just feel into where we are right now, feel into our present moment. Feel within your soul, within your body, how you are feeling. Take the moment to notate anything within you that is calling for your attention. Anything in you that's calling for you. Mm. I hope that you are doing well on this wonderful day. This isn't really the vibe I want to go for. Let's see. I've been through multiple tracks and I've not found one that's my vibe today. So just breathe into this moment. Breathe into how you feel. We had a safe night last night, a safe and fun, exciting night last night. Mm. And that you were able to connect with who you wanted or needed to on the other side. Still available today. If you are seeing this video, this live right now, please, please, please share it to a friend, share it to a family member, a beautiful soul on this planet who needs to hear this, who needs to take this rest, this moment, this pause today. That is what I've shown up for today. You know what? I think this is number 16 or 17, episode 16 or 17 of meditating and honoring self-love in the middle of the day and what an honor it is to be ourselves to be self there's so much beautiful about you beautiful soul there's so much to commend about who you are, who you show up as on a daily basis. How do you think you're showing up? Maybe there are moments where you can check in within your body and really ask yourself that, how am I showing up in this moment? How? Are you coming from a place of unconditional love? Are you coming from a place of honor? 
Are you treating the souls out there in the world with the same respect that you would treat yourself? With the same respect that you would treat your family, your close friends? Do you treat everyone out there the way that you indeed would like to be treated? What energy are you putting out into the planet? Mm. Deep breath as you ponder that question. Feel into it. Take the moment to truly, truly get to the bottom of it all. The bottom of you. Command and show up with complete honesty when you show up for yourself. Complete and utter honesty for you, for me, for the world. Because when you're honest, you are unconditional. And we want you unconditional. When you take moments like this to pause and acknowledge yourself and think of yourself, you get to then go out into the world with the light that you have blessed yourself with. When you be still and you breathe into your vessel, breathe gratitude into your day so far, breathe gratitude into your life so far. If this is a day that you need some heavy, heavy transmutation, heavy energy to move, Go back, go all the way back, go through the timeline, touch your inner child and let them know. Yeah, you know, we don't love that phrase, but reach back and give your inner child some love, some hugs, some some value. Let her know, let him know, let them know that they are safe, that they are protected, that they are honored in who they were and who they tried to be that you are the adult now and that you are here to reparent yourself, that you are here to give yourself the love that you possibly were not given. And that's okay. We don't sit in the, in the, um, what is that, what is that term called? The first word that came to my mind was vulnerable, which it, it is a vulnerable state to be in, but a uh, victim victims the word we don't sit in victim mode on our lives no no for we are aware of where we are right now where we intend to go we do not allow things to anchor us in the past absolutely not when you wake up and you feel that on your soul that your inner child needs to talk that they have something to say that is your task for the day you get to journal, you get to go through the, the visions that your mind wants to bring you, that your ancestors want to bring you, that your inner child want to bring you, and you go through it. Watch it. Do not reach for the alcohol, don't reach for the weed, don't reach for the whatever you reach for when, they, when thoughts get too wild. Sit still, sit still, grab a journal, grab a pen, and write it out you're gonna want to write it out because later you um you're gonna get into a situation where why is this weird um where you're gonna want answers you're gonna be like how did i get to that epiphany and then you're gonna read your um your journal and you're gonna be like oh my gosh that's how I got to that. I remember that time because I sat still and I breathed into this question that this woman on Instagram said and I got to the bottom of what has been holding me back. There was a prompt to talk to my inner child and I indeed took that time. I was going to go 
grocery shopping and then go cook food for the kids and go do this and go do this and this and this and this and plug into this and scroll on this and blah 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 but you know what I did I grabbed my journal after that after that prompt and I indeed took the time to answer the questions back that I was wondering about myself what my inner child needs to hear right now and what is it within me how is my energy when i put it out what is going on within me that's creating the person that is going out into the world i'm telling you like i haven't always been a light i haven't always been a light um i've i've been pretty light but not always a light and people who know me and knew me back in back in the day they know (laughs) they know i was more of a Like, I would see the good in people, but I was more of a, like, why don't you see the good in you? Are you kidding me? Like, why are you not perfect? Why do you not see what I see? Like, I was very much that kind of person. Um, But it just, it takes time. It takes self-awareness to actually be brave enough to sit and take time to the self. It does, because you can easily reach for your phone and go to something else. I mean, I'm here on Instagram Live. I have people popping in and popping out, popping in and popping out, popping in and popping out, and how long people stay for the word, how long people stay for the pause, for the meditation, you know, to see a title and say, this says meditation, I'm going to take the time to meditate, or this says self-love, I'm going to take the time to suck in the self-love, why not? This girl is here, or this woman is here preaching about self-love, why not? I'm all for it, so let's do it, let's channel the self-love. And who knows, maybe this time next year, you will be going live to your people and your community and spreading the love and the light, 1212. Um, So with that, let's just take a moment to pause, take a moment to uh, just feel into what I've just been saying. Let's relax on that. Let's breathe on that. I just thought of the party situation again when conversations just happen in a row. Happen, 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 and there's no breathing in between it. There's no breathing, and I bet people feel my annoyance. I try to I try to calm down the, the annoyance energy of like, I don't want to be here, but when I feel something, when I feel that energy of I don't want to be here, it's on. <laughs> So when people are asking me questions and stuff and like being in conversation at events, I'm just like, the draining is like, uh, I have to walk away. So then I go walk away and breathe unapologetically. And then I come back recharged. I'm like, okay, I can take on some more conversations. I got this, but woo, it's a trip. I just thought of it. But yeah, if you go through that, if you go through just, I mean, we all do, I feel like the overload when you go to a social event or a party or something and people, especially like right now, like I'm about to go travel the world everywhere I go. So what city are you going to? What are you doing? Blah, 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 like question after question after question. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, (laughs) please let me, let me like put my stuff down and get some water please. Um, Pause. We pause. We pause. (laughs) And when we come back, we are going to do another um, card draw for the Sawin deck, because we still in that energy. We still in Invite some deep breaths. Let yourself know that you are loved, that you are honored, that you are cherished, that you are important, that you are worthy, that you belong, that you are everything. 
you are the queen, the king, the embodiment of everything that you need, that you desire. It's all within you and never higher besides yourself, your higher self, as it thanks you, as you breathe in the gratitude, I offer you my love. My love as you enlighten your soul, your vessel, your goals with all of the power of self-love. Self-love flowing through the veins, never from above. It's all in here. Every bit, it's all in here. Mm, so breathe. Beautiful soul, just breathe.
Invite some deep breaths into your body, into your soul. You are supported. You are protected. You are cherished. And every version of you. And as we take this time to ourselves, with ourselves, for ourselves, we acknowledge such love within. We acknowledge that when we pour into our own cup, into our own desires, we mirror, we reflect the very energy that everyone else needs, that everyone else is looking for. I found this out by accident. I was on a journey of even more self-love. Like, I loved myself, but I wanted more. And through it, I found the connection of community, the connection of other beautiful souls, the connection of light to this planet, the connection of consciousness to this planet. It wasn't just that I didn't think like everyone else and I had to go hide away. It was because I think like not everyone else that I had to step into the light. Be a disruptor, be a mover, be a motivator, be the positive one in the sea of negativity. I had to step out of my ego and commit to the souls, commit to a higher purpose of spreading the light rather than submerging into the darkness. They don't understand me. They won't see. They don't want to see anyway. All of those things that got in the way of me going out and spreading my light. Little did I know. I said, I'm going to just, I'm going to thrive here in my life with or without anybody. And little did I know once you go in it all just shines outward and pretty soon pretty soon you're just this beam of light beaming out to everybody being a light despite without even trying and you're uplifting people without even having known and